The TUC is likely to reject government's proposed exchange program in relation to pensions funds. I'm taking you live to the TUC, uh, which is addressing the press currently. Our friends from the press, to present our position on the so-called domestic exchange program, which was launched by the Minister for Finance on 5th December 2022. Uh, we will also take the opportunity to state our position on some various IMF-inspired measures announced in the 2023 budget statement. I'll start with the Domestic Debt Exchange Program. According to the Minister for Finance, the Domestic Debt Operation, as they call it, involves an exchange for new Ghana bonds with coupons of a longer average maturity. Existing domestic bonds as of 1st December 2022 will be exchanged for a set of four new bonds maturing in 2027, 2029, 2032, and 2037. Somebody said the government is shifting economic stability to 2037. The annual coupon on all these, and I want you to listen to this, the annual coupon on all these new bonds will be set at 0% in 2023, 5% in 2024, and 10% from 2025 until maturity. We are talking about inflation of 40.4%, and you are fixing coupon rates at 0%, 5%, and 10%. However, you, you simply don't understand and then they said the coupon payments will be semi-annual, means every six months they will pay. So if your coupon rate is 5%, after six months, you know how much they will pay you? 2.5%. The domestic debt exchange program will not affect individual bondholders, according to the minister. Immediately after the announcement, the TUC released a press statement. And let me summarize what is contained in the press statement. In that statement, we express grave concern about the exchange program because of the negative impact on workers' pensions. We also complain about the lack of prior engagement with labor, given that a substantial portion of workers' pension is invested in government bonds. And we took special notice of the statement by the minister that the debt exchange program is voluntary. And we promised our members that we would scrupulously analyze the propriety or otherwise of the participation of our pension funds in the debt exchange program. Then we assured the working people of Ghana that the TUC and our affiliate unions will do everything in our power as trade unions to ensure that workers are fully protected and that not even a peso of our pension funds is lost in the debt exchange program. And finally, <laughs> finally in the statement, we appeal to all workers and unions to remain calm as we work to protect our retirement funds. So on behalf of my colleagues, EC members, we would like to thank all of you, our affiliate unions and members across the 16 regions in this country for your patience. We appreciate that. <laughs> we have analyzed the debt exchange program. And after a thorough analysis of the program and a very extensive discussion 
among the leadership of TUC and our athletes. We have seen some implications, and that is why we are here this afternoon. Our conclusion is very firm, and it is this, that the program would negatively affect pension funds of our members, and consequently, their retirement income security. Already, pension is low. And we will have thought that our government would do everything to protect even the small pension that we have. Instead, they are introducing programs inspired by IMF to cut further pension income. And as we used to say, we no go sit down. Yes. Yes. Therefore, the Trans Union Congress and all its affiliate national unions have decided that pension funds of our members will not be part of the domestic debt exchange program. <laughs> Let me repeat that one. The TUC and all our athletes have decided, and this is a very firm decision, that the pension funds of our members will not be part of the domestic debt exchange program. Yes. So, earlier this morning, we have dispatched a letter to the Minister for Finance, and we are demanding that all pension funds invested in government bonds should be completely exempted from the domestic debt exchange program. We are also demanding in that letter that Within one week from today, government should publicly announce that all pension funds, including SNIT, are exempted from the debt exchange program. Again, in the letter, we have said notice that if government fails to accede to our demand within one week, we will advise ourselves. I have copies of the letter here, and uh, we will give copies to the press. So in case uh, we forget, please remind us. We are going to give you copies, and immediately after the press conference, it will be available on our website. But the letter has been delivered, and I make sure those who took the letter signed. So comrades, on the debt exchange program, this is our position. It is simple and very clear. And if government refuses to exempt pension funds, including SNEX, we will advise ourselves. I am sure they understand that. And the red that we are in is enough demonstration that we are not joking. We are not bluffing. So on this note, I will now move to some of the issues we raised in the budget, uh, in the 2023 budget. Uh, that's quite a lot, so please exercise patience. In the budget, government announced various IMF-inspired measures to deal with the economic and financial crisis, some of which are clearly inappropriate and wrong. And they include the following. Number one, taxation. Government has announced increases in taxes starting from January 2023 in this current economic situation. I know what they touched VAT, which is indirect consumption tax, affects everybody equally, whether you are poor or you are rich. And the value added tax rate is projected to go by to go up by 2.5 percentage points. But if you work percentage points, it's getting to about 14% increase. They have also increased the maximum personal income tax margin from 30% to 35%. Currently, if you earn 4,000 a month, you're already in the high bracket. And they are moving you to 35%, which leaves less money in your pocket for you and your family in these current economic conditions. And they are also saying that as if this is not enough, they are saying that if you transfer that small money to your mother in the village, 
They are removing the threshold. And these taxes will obviously hurt the poor. And workers who are on fixed incomes and who are on low incomes. And as usual, businesses will, will, will pass it on to us. So in our comments we, to, the, to the government, which we have sent to government already, we vehemently opposed these tax measures and challenged government to use other measures to mobilize revenue, including one, plugging the leakages in the tax system. And we know it, that there is so much going out on the, into the drain. We also advise that they should rather improve the tax efficiency because it costs too much to collect the taxes that we are collecting. And then we also advise that government should deal decisively with the severe infractions in the Auditor General's report. We know this. We know the figures. Every year, account, uh, Auditor General comes with figures uh, and amounts that did not go as they should. So we are taking this opportunity at this press conference to reiterate our demand for immediate and radical downsizing of government. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we think that this is important. If you want Ghanaians to sacrifice, we should have a sign that our government is serious. And if government is serious and they want us to be serious about this economy and this country, they should take the lead. And we expect the president to do that before the end of this year. We don't have that. So that's a press conference from the TUC uh, boss himself asking government to exempt pension funds, including SNIT, from the domestic debt exchange program. And it's also warning government that if after a week it doesn't act on their demands, they will advise themselves. They also have a problem with increasing taxes uh, from VAT, 12.5% to 15%, and also on the personal income tax levy, which has been increased to 35%. Let's take a break on Joy News today. When we return, we'll bring you more in business. Thank you.